The song I am doing for the analysis is The World Was Wide Enough. The song recounts the events of the 1804 duel between Alexander Hamilton and Aaron Burr in Weehawken, New Jersey. The song starts as a reprise of the Ten Duel Commandments explaining what happened before the duel. After that, Burr states, Hamilton was wearing his glasses. Why? If not to take deadly aim, it's him or me. The world will never be the same. It seems as if Aaron Burr is trying to make excuses for killing Hamilton. At this point, Burr is acting opposite of himself and being more like Hamilton, radical and aggressive, while Hamilton is acting more like Burr, patient and reserved. Then, Lin-Manuel Miranda symbolizes Hamilton dying with him singing while there is no music behind him. When Hamilton states his monologue at the beginning of it, there is desperation in his voice, he sl- and eventually he slows down and is accepting of the fact that he is dying. After Hamilton's monologue, when Burr fires on him, he yells, he aims his pistol at the sky, wait, because he realizes that Al- Hamilton wasn't going to shoot him. For the rest of the song, Burr is mournful and quiet. He says, I survived, but I pay for it. Now I'm the villain in your history. When he says this, he's talking about his career and reputation and how they were ruined because he killed Hamilton in a duel. This is also referring to the line in the song, Right Hand Man, when it says, Dying is easy, young man, living is harder. Finally, one of the last lines in the song, Burr says, I should have known the world was wide enough for both Hamilton and me. By the end of the song, he fully blames himself for killing Hamilton and ruining his own life. The song ends with Hamilton and Burr accepting their fate.